What's up? Um, I'm in Dayton. It's uh, 4.27 a.m. in the morning, uh, Friday morning, uh, day one of the Hamvention. Uh, recap about yesterday. I mean, actually recap, you know, getting here. I got here and had an awesome conversation, six-hour long conversation on the ride here with Ward Silver. Um, talked about all kinds of things uh, that we should do for the, you know, AAA Ham, ham Shack at the Ham Club at, at S&T. Um, talked about uh, all kinds of stuff. And then we got here, um, and I settled in, ordered some pizza, and uh, went to sleep. Well, actually, I didn't go to sleep. Uh, actually, well, okay, I slept for two hours, I woke up, and my nose was, like, running and stuffy, and it was miserable, and I didn't go to sleep. Uh, so I had to get uh, up uh, about six, uh, 6 or so in the morning and go to Contest University. And what that is is a program um, which you uh, listen to speakers uh, around contesters and uh, really educated people talk uh, about contesting. Uh, any topics range anywhere from, you know, uh, antennas, propagation, radio design, uh, uh, station design, uh, and everything, you know, in between, uh, and, like, digital contesting, I guess, was one big part, but, uh, it was really, really interesting, and there was a youth contest university. It's their first year this year, so it wasn't very active. Uh, there was, however, you know, about 50 people watched the webcast, uh, over, uh, over it, and uh, various youths from all over the place, including uh, Mitchell, uh, one of the guys who went on the Costa Rica trip, uh, gave little presentations. I also met Andrea Hartledge, and man, she, she did just too much. She did too much in ham radio. It makes me feel like I got something she was still. So that's all right. <clears throat> Tonight, and so I, I went. I, I came home at six. I fell right asleep. And uh, then my room got invaded by uh, a couple of really confused Chinese folk who came in and thought this was their room, but then the, the, the front desk person came up and said, no, your room's down there. It's like, you know, it was really weird, but they gave me a QSL card, uh, like I had I put on Twitter. But, uh, so I haven't been able to sleep since. I feel fine, but I'm, I know tomorrow's going to suck because I'm going to fall asleep again. And I'm going till like, 8 at least, or probably even 10 or something, because, I mean... You know, I really want to help them and get involved in stuff, so, I don't know. But to come check us out at the Youth Lounge, uh, wherever the the red carpet stuff is, I guess. Uh, I'll be there. If not, I'm looking for a ham, ham stick set for my friend Dan, Dan Leaflat. If you're out there, I'm getting you a ham stick set instead of a screwdriver antenna, which are expensive and inefficient, and they're cool, but they're inefficient because they're just giant traps for RF and junk. I don't know. Um... Basically, what I'm getting is fiberglass rods with wires right around them, and uh, apparently that's a little bit more efficient. So, and they're cheap, real cheap. Um, so I'm gonna get HF in your car. We're gonna go rovering. That's what it's called. But uh, you know, that's it. Uh, got to, till you know Sunday. Hopefully, the world isn't in uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, con I, I congratulate the senior class of 2011. Um, congratulations. They graduate this Saturday, and I don't get to be there. But uh, that's about it. So, 73, I'll keep y'all posted. I got a blog on uh, Blogger. Uh, look for n 0 Twitter, uh, Ustream. Sometimes I'll be streaming really short little things uh, under n 0 So, I don't know. Check all that stuff out. I'll say 73 to you, and uh, have a good day. n 0 play.